remember there was one day when I was using the machine and I was listening to music and I was just embroidering and I stopped and thought, I wasn't thinking about what I was doing, I was just doing it. I have achieved something. I've connected with this machine. I've connected with this process. It was a place that I worked really hard to get to. And then when I was there, I was able to say like, what's the next place that I can go with this machine? I do custom chain stitch embroidery using antique and vintage chain stitch embroidery machines. I make custom suits for people who collect Western wear, country musicians, Western wear enthusiasts. I make everything. I make the patterns. I cut the fabric. I design the embroidery. Most modern embroidery is digitized. You go on your computer and you press a button and you walk away from the machine and the machine does all the work. With chain stitch embroidery, there's a handle underneath the machine that you're holding and you're essentially painting with thread. So whatever you do with that handle, the thread is corresponding. The presser foot is moving and the needle's moving and it's actually laying down the design. It takes a lot of time to learn that skill and to have that you know, hand-eye coordination and build that muscle memory. I really like that part. I like being connected to it and feeling like, you know, it's this tangible thing. Years and years ago, I worked in this coffee shop that was really slow. I would bring in these little hand embroidery projects, just something to kill the time. I also always liked Western shirts. Not like fancy Western shirts, but you know, I just liked the pearl buttons and you know, whatever. This one day a customer came in and lent me this book that was all about the history of Western wear. And he's like, you gotta check out this book because I know you like embroidery and I know you like Western wear. So I started flipping through this book and I was like, this is amazing. Like flashy suits and you know, all the colors and the rhinestones and the embroidery and it just like really spoke to me. And I also kind of remembered seeing Western suits when I was growing up because my dad was really into country music. And he had this huge record collection. So he had Porter Wagner albums and Webb Pierce. I got really excited about the prospect of trying to make one of these suits or just, you know, a fancy Western shirt. So I went to the fabric store and I bought some fabric and I bought some piping and some pearl snaps. And I borrowed my roommate's sewing machine and I made just horrendous Western shirt. I mean, it was just terrible. But there was something about the process of sewing and of creating this like three-dimensional fabric art that ignited my imagination and made me want to just like keep doing it and keep learning. I had a friend that recently told me that country music is the new punk rock. I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like a lot of kind of hipster types are gravitating towards old country and just like the aesthetic and not like this lame thing that your weird uncle does, you know, when he goes line dancing at some crappy country bar, you know? Like people are actually seeking out this like underground country. A couple years ago, I had a customer named Robert Ellis. I made him a space theme suit. It had astronauts and it had rockets on the arms. And he got it and he's like, this is my favorite thing I've ever owned. And like there were some nights on a couple of tours where he didn't wear the suit. And he said that people would come up to him and be like, I came to see the suit. <laughs> and he said that, you know, the suit helped his career, which was like really meaningful to hear, obviously. The suit that I have over here that is a underwater themed suit. You know, one day I got an email from this guy in Australia that said, I've been wanting a, you know, fancy Western suit forever. And honestly, like this suit is probably my favorite one I've ever made. In this basement, I spent a lot of long, long hours. Don't talk to anyone for days at a time. And it's definitely hard to send stuff out in the world, you know? And I mean, honestly, like, there's times when I've, like, cried, you know, because 
it's not so much crying because you're letting it go, but you're crying because you're like, God, I spent so much time on this. And it's like peace has become my life for like the past month. You know, there's always something that I've learned from my last piece. And so my next piece, I try to conquer that, whether it's, you know, improving some way that I'm putting in the pocket or some way that I'm attaching a collar. But beyond that, you know, I just want to like keep pushing it, you know, keep pushing the boundaries, and trying to make something that I can't believe I made. That's the thing that I love about Western wear. There's just endless possibilities for what you can make. It's just waiting out there in the, you know, in the cosmos, I guess, for me to catch it, you know, and for me to, you know, to find that thing and make it a reality.